Hi, in this second video I will show you how to configure net rows to forward uh, traffic, um, for example, uh, port 80 for website access. Um, we did in previous video uh, initial setup of Zywo 110. Uh, in this video we will learn how to um, do port forwarding. So we're going to log into the server to this firewall. So we're going to log into this firewall. We can ignore this because currently I don't have any services and I don't want to activate. I can also choose don't remind me and then uh, we will not be getting that next time. Again, these services you can purchase and um, assign them to your account and they will automatically get synced with the firewall and they will show activated right here. Uh, at this moment, uh, we don't have any currently, we don't need it. Okay, so we're gonna go to configure. We're gonna look for the NAT rule. Okay, so to create a rule, I'm gonna name it web server port 80 incoming interface when uh, incoming source IP any external IP we're gonna choose when interface uh, which is um, if you don't have that created you have to click create address then you're gonna change this to when IP you're gonna change this to interface and then you have to make sure interface when one is selected um, that will create an object telling that when IP is the interface IP and the traffic comes through interface when one and that is incoming internet and we hit OK. In our case we already have it so we're gonna choose when interface that's the external IP that means that the traffic is gonna come in through when port now we have to choose destination where this traffic is going to go uh, so we have to create new object if you don't have the server added we're gonna click um, add address we're gonna name it server web port 80 and we're gonna type in the server address 192.168 in my case is 5.100 and we're gonna hit OK server web port 80 now we can come back to internal IP click web server 80 and port mapping type we can leave an any now we have to hit OK and we got our first net rule created. Now we also have to create a firewall rule to tell that this traffic is allowed to come through otherwise firewall is being blocked. This is the routing rule and we're gonna have to go to the firewall rule which is um, located in security and policy. We're gonna click policy control. Over here we're gonna hit add we're gonna call this port forwarding 80. You can create specific port or you can create groups. Uh, if you have a web server with multiple different uh, ports, then I highly recommend to create a group, assign all the ports to the group, and then choose a group instead of uh, choosing the specific port. Source any which is fine destination we have to choose our web server now service we're gonna choose our HTTP they already pre-made so you have HTTP port 80 HTTPS if you need to create a custom uh, services then you can click here and then create new service and then um, you name it you put the type of a TCP UDP 
uh, then you choose the starting point and ending port and then uh, you create that rule and then uh, that rule is assigned since we already have those rules added here uh, that came by default from the firewall manufacturer we can choose HTTP and uh, we're gonna choose action make sure it says allow uh, if you want to make sure that traffic is working properly I highly recommend to choose lock and uh, alert however after the testing uh, change it back to no otherwise your log uh, size will be huge and uh, it will be hard to see what other issues the firewall has um, you can also apply the profiles for the services uh, you have purchased uh, we don't have any so we're not gonna be applying any of these but basically uh, what we're gonna do is just uh, name it choose where it's coming from uh, make sure that destination is selected which is the web server IP uh, then you choose the uh, service uh, in our case it's HTTP and make sure it says allow and you hit OK now you should see the rule at the very top and that's how it's done so right now we just click apply to make the final changes and uh, currently we finished configuring the net rules and port forwarding thank you for watching and um, I'll see you in the next video